Email invoices using webmail. Once email settings have been applied to your invoice layout, you're ready to start emailing invoices and credit notes to your customers. Please note when emailing from Sage50 accounts using a webmail provider, emails are sent immediately from the software. To have an opportunity to review emails before sending to your customers, we recommend temporarily changing email addresses in a minimum of two customer records to your own email address. Once you're happy emails are being generated correctly, the email addresses can be changed back. Invoices and credit notes can be emailed from the invoice or credit note record or from the invoices and credits list. If you need another copy of an invoice or credit note, it can be emailed again. Let's first look at how to email an invoice or credit note from its record. To do this, from the invoices and credits module, to open a record, select it from the list and click edit. To select a layout, from the toolbar, click print. To view all layouts, select the layouts folder. In this example, the layouts I applied my webmail settings to are in the favorites folder. So I'll select a layout from here. To preview the invoice before emailing, from the main toolbar, click preview. To email the invoice, click email. If the email generates successfully, this message appears. To close the message, click OK. To close the layouts window, click here. If the invoice has not been updated to the ledgers, a window appears prompting you to do so. To update the invoice, click OK. To update the invoice later, click Cancel. To return to the invoices and credits list, click close. Please note, emailing from the print option updates the printed column rather than the emailed column. We'll learn how the emailed column is updated later. In the webmail account, the email sent from Sage50 accounts appears in the sent items folder. To see how the email will be received by the customer, I'll open the email account for the email address I added temporarily in the customer record. The email will be received in the customer's inbox. The subject displays the invoice number and company name. The display name, email address, to and CC details entered in email settings display here. The invoice is attached in PDF format with the company name and invoice number. If the PDF is password protected, the password prompt will appear when the file is opened. Default text displays in the email body. To customize this wording to make it bespoke to your business, please visit the Sage Help Center. Let's now look at how to email from the invoices and credit notes list. From the invoices and credits module, select the record or records you'd like to email. To select a single invoice or credit note record, click on it. To select a sequential batch of records, click the first record, then hold down the shift key on the keyboard and select the last record. Everything in between the first and last selection is also selected. To select a non-sequential batch of records, click the first record, then hold down the control key on the keyboard between selections. On the toolbar, there are two emailing options, print and email. We'll learn about the email option later. To select an invoice layout, click print. To view all layouts, select the Layouts folder. Alternatively, if your layout is shown in the Favorites folder, select your required layout from here instead. To preview the selected records before emailing, 
From the main toolbar, click Preview. To email the selected records, click Email. If the emails generate successfully, this message appears. To close the message, click OK. To return to the invoices and credits list, click here. Please note, emailing from the print option updates the printed column rather than the emailed column. We'll learn how the emailed column is updated later. In the webmail account, the emails sent from Sage50 accounts appear in the sent items folder and the emails will be received in the customer's inbox. Once you're happy that emails are being generated correctly, in each customer record you tested, remember to change the email address back. You've now learned how to email invoices and credit notes using webmail.